Hi everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will discuss about how to add batch number over to our Flutter app icons. So as you see here this is going to be our demo app which we will be using for this video tutorial and also you can notice that there is a batch number that appears right at the top of the app launcher icon. So this is all about what we will be discussing in this video. In this video we will look into how to add these kinds of batch number over the flutter app icon just to demonstrate the duration and all those stuff. This is going to be a very simple one with just two simple lines of code you will be able to achieve this in our flutter app. Therefore without wasting time let's directly jump into the coding part and get this done. Before getting started we need to add the dependency in our bus pack and the package is flutter dynamic icons. So this package allows us to create these kinds of batch over the app icons okay. And always check for the latest version as for the video recording date 2.1 is the latest version. Now let's start with the main.dat file. Starting with the main.dat file where we have made use of generator routes and the initial route points to my home page. As you can see here this is the initial route where it points to the home page. Here in the home page we have nothing but a elevated button placed right at the center. And down press is going to be an empty one therefore whenever the button is being pressed nothing is going to happen since we haven't provided any conditions or logic right inside the on press tab. Okay. First let's start by creating a separate function. And let's name the function as set batch number and that is going to take the count which is the number that is going to be displayed over in the app icon and inside this function we need to make use of the try catch exceptions and inside the try is where we need to make use of the method which is set application icon batch number and pass in the value of the count over here and this count is going to be displayed over the app icon and since we have since we are making use of try we need to make use of the catch block as well and inside the catch block we are just going to print the exception now we have successfully set the batch icon number whenever the icon button is going to be pressed um, it is going to set the batch number which is going to be passed as the parameter over to this function we just need to call this function right over here in the on press event and before that we also need to make use of an alert dialog just to intimate the user that the batch number has been set successfully therefore we can make use of uh, another method which is get application icon batch number which is going to return the batch number which is being set by this function which is set application batch number okay now we'll be able to get the batch number and it is going to be stored inside this batch number integer variable and with the help of this variable we are going to display the same in the alert box therefore whenever the button is going to be pressed it is going to set the batch number and the sequence we are going to get the batch number and store it inside this batch number integer variable and display the same in the alert box okay so now the only thing which is left is we need to call this function inside this on press event so now let's do that and we are going to call this method which is set batch number and pass the count value as 5 that is the value of 5 is going to set as the batch number and let's start restart and let me click this button and whenever the button is being pressed it is going to set the batch number now you can see here um, we have made use of this condition which is set application batch number therefore it is been set and we have made use of the get application batch number and have also made use of the alert box to display the batch number which is been set to the app icon okay now if you minimize this app you will be able to notice that the batch number is been set if i just change it from 5 to 50 and rerun the app again you can see here the batch number is now set as 50 and you can also notice the same over here in the app icon as well so this is all about how you can set the batch number over to your flutter app icons with the help of the package flutter dynamic icons all right hope you guys found this tutorial useful if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye